Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we will talking about onychotillomania. Onychoscopy. What is the dermoscopic features of onychotillomania? We will describe about seven criteria of onychotillomania on onychoscopy. Three related to nail plate and two related to blood vessels and two related to pigmentary changes. The features are scales, absence of the nail plate, wavy lines, hemorrhages, speckled dots, melanonychia, and the nail bed pigmentation. Scales, absence of the nail plate, and wavy lines are related to nail plate, hemorrhages and speckled dots related to blood vessels, melanonychia and the nail bed pigmentation related to the pigmentary changes. So, the dermoscopic features of onectolomania are seven features, three related to nail plate, two related to blood vessels, and two pigmentary changes. Scales and the absence of the nail plate related to the traumatic uh, criteria of onychotillomania. As we see in this photo, this is a wavy line in a nail of patient with onychotillomania. And this is a very characteristic and specific feature of onychotillomania. These lines may be white, reddish, purple, brown, or black pigmented lines. These lines appear to be on different planes with a wavy appearance. Why? This is due to uneven or absent nail plate growth after recurrent trauma. These wavy lines can be associated with scales, hemorrhages, and the nail bed pigmentation. Maybe the only criteria, or it may be associated with these features. This is a wavy lines. This is very characteristic and specific criteria of onychotillomania. What about the speckled dots? This is a speckled dots in nail of patient with onychotillomania. Speckled dots. This is larger than the pinpoint hemorrhage. and it can be red to brown or black in color. Okay, what about the hemorrhage? If there is a difference between hemorrhage in onychotillomania and splinter hemorrhage? Yes, in onychotillomania, it appears, hemorrhage here appears as red, brown or purplish black pinpoint dots or streaks, it has a certain pattern. They have an oblique wavy pattern. In the exposed lanula area, the nail bed and very angular fold, while in splinter hemorrhage, it is longitudinally oriented. This is a hemorrhage, multiple obliquely oriented. This is wavy nail bed hemorrhages. Note the wavy line. This nail with onychotillomania, it has oblique oriented wavy nail bed hemorrhages and nail bed pigmentation associated with wavy lines. Upon follow up of this patient, the hemorrhages cleared and only the wavy lines and the nail pigment nail bed pigmentation remain. So, the hemorrhages is the first sign to be cleared upon follow-up of patient treated with onychotillomania. What about the nail pigmentation? It appears as a gray hue, and this is a distinctive feature for onychotillomania. Here, at this photo, there is a wavy lines associated with nail bed pigmentation in patient with onychotillomania. What is the difference between 
onychotillomania pigmentation and malignant melanoma. In onychotillomania, it is caused by melanocyte activation from recurrent trauma to the nail matrix and the nail bed. While in malignant melanoma, it is caused by when the cancer originates in the nail matrix or subangular nodule, pigmentation of the nail plate will develop melanonychia. And if it is a debris angular uh, tissue, so pigmentation will be at the proximal nail fold and hyponychia. In onychotillomania, the nail bed pigmentation has a gray hue on the mosquito. While in malignant melanoma, there is a brown plaque pigmentation of the nail plate with irregular longitudinal lines. At last, we must know the three signs related to the nail plate scales, uh, absence of the nail plate and a wavy lines, which is a very characteristic to onychotillomania, and uh, changes related to blood vessels, uh, changes like speckle dots and hemorrhages, and changes related to nail pigmentation, like nail bed pigmentation and melanonychia. Thank you.